Talent Thoracic Deployment This animation provides a brief overview of the delivery and deployment of the Talent Thoracic Stent Graft with the Accelerant Delivery System. Please reference appropriate product instructions for use for a more detailed list of indications, warnings, precautions, and potential adverse events. The Talent Thoracic Stent Graft System features the easy-to-use Accelerant Delivery System. The Accelerant Delivery System consists of a single-use, disposable catheter with an integrated handle to provide the user with controlled deployment for accuracy. The Talent Thoracic Stent Graft System is used to treat descending thoracic aortic aneurysms and is a minimally invasive alternative to open surgery. After preparing the Accelerant Delivery System using the procedure found in the instructions for use, it is important to first locate the radio pick markers on the Talent Thoracic Stent Graft to identify the location of the connecting bar within the sheath. Turn the sheath to align the connecting bar with the outer bend of the target vessel for implantation. An unaligned connecting bar may increase the likelihood of endo leaks post-implantation. Advance the delivery system through an incision in the femoral artery over the guide wire to the target landing zone. Be sure to monitor the proper orientation of the connecting bar while advancing the stent graft. Ensure that the proximal and distal springs are each placed in adequate landing zones at least 20 millimeters proximal and distal to the aneurysm comprised of healthy tissue. Initially position the proximal edge of the covered portion of the stent graft a few millimeters higher than the targeted landing zone. Confirm using angiography that the orientation and placement of the proximal end of the stent graft is exactly where you want it to land prior to deployment. Verify that the connecting bar is oriented on the outside of the outer curve of the thoracic aorta. The mid-marker figure 8 indicates the position of the connecting bar. Deploy the proximal end of the talent thoracic stent graft by holding the delivery system stationary with one hand on the front of the handle and slowly withdrawing the graft cover with the other hand by rotating the external slider counterclockwise. Withdraw the graft cover until the proximal bare spring and the next covered spring have been deployed. Make sure that only the first two springs are deployed before verifying the position. Perform angiography to verify the position of the stent graft in relation to the desired location. If the stent graft was deployed higher than the targeted landing zone, the stent graft can be repositioned distally to its desired location by retracting it as long as no more than two of the proximal springs have been deployed. To retract the partially deployed stent graft, gently pull down on the entire delivery system until the proximal markers indicating the top edge of the fabric are at the desired position. Do not advance the talent thoracic system with an exposed proximal spring, as it may lead to aortic perforation. Verify that the proximal end of the stent graft is placed correctly and then hold the delivery system steady and continue to rotate the external slider until the distal spring is completely deployed. To remove the delivery system, depress the button on the quick disconnect to retract the tapered tip into the graft cover. Using continual fluoroscopy, watch the top of the talent thoracic stent graft while slowly pulling back the tapered tip into the graft cover of the accelerant delivery system, re-establishing the smooth transition of the tip with the cover. Hold the tip in place as the whole catheter is withdrawn. Gently remove the delivery system using fluoroscopy to ensure that the stent graft does not move during withdrawal. The Reliant Stent Graft Balloon Catheter, packaged separately, may be used to remove wrinkles and folds from the graft material as needed and to model the stent graft to the vessel wall. After consulting Reliant's instructions for use, Move to advance the Reliant balloon over the guide wire to the target location. Next, inflate the Reliant balloon with contrast solution and model the stent graft to the vessel wall. Be careful to inflate the balloon only within the covered portion of the stent graft material. Deflate the balloon and repeat inflations and deflations as required within the covered stent graft material. Remove the Reliant balloon catheter from the patient when balloon modeling is complete. At times, it may be necessary to implant additional devices to completely exclude the aneurysm. If additional devices are needed,
prepare the second device using the same steps described in the instructions for use. Slowly advance the Talent Thoracic Stent Graph System to the targeted landing zone. Monitor the advancement of the device within a previously implanted stent graft under fluoroscopy to ensure that the implanted stent graft does not move. When placing a distal main section, again verify that the proximal figure 8 radio opaque markers are aligned with or are located proximal to the distal figure 8 markers of the mating graft. Radiographically verify that the connecting bar of the distal main section is oriented on the outside of the most severe bend of the vessel. Please note, a minimum of 30 millimeters of overlap is required between overlapping stent grafts. In areas of angulation or curvature, an additional overlap of 15 millimeters is recommended for a minimum overlap of 45 millimeters. Follow procedures previously described to complete deployment of additional devices. Remove the delivery system and model the stent graft to the vessel wall. Upon completion of the final ballooning procedure, perform angiography to verify stent graft a position and sealing and the absence of endo leak. Remove all remaining accessories such as guide wire, introducer sheath, and angiography catheter. Close the arteriotomy site by standard surgical closure techniques. The Talent Thoracic Stent Graft Deployment is complete.